How's it going there fellow junkies? This is Rude Junkie here and in today's video we're going to be talking about a neat little Windows utility called the Bloater Tool and it does some amazing amazing things especially if your device is on KitKat but also if you have Rude Access. Uh, this is by a real cool developer, a good friend of mine. Gates Jr. is his uh, username. So um, let's go check this out. So if you guys want to go ahead and use this debloater tool, which is what I'm going to show you, there's a couple prerequisites we're going to need to do. This is a couple devices I have. These are both Moto devices. They don't have to be Motorola devices to do this, but uh, you need to come in here and get into settings. And you need to go down here to about phone. And you need to find your build number right there and tap on it a bunch of times. This is going to enable developer options. Okay. And you're going to go back and you're going to see right there developer options and you want to make sure it's turned on and you want to make sure USB debugging is turned on and checked. This is very important you do this on any of your devices that you want to use this debloater tool on. Um, this is what allows this thing to function correctly over ADB through your computer and through your USB cable that's plugged in down below. So that's going to be really important and then we, have, we want to make sure we have the drivers installed as well. But if you have your device set up like this you should be basically ready to go. Let's go to the computer and let me show you some of this. So here is the bloater tool you're going to download. Let me actually show you that really quickly. So right here, if you need the drivers for your device, this is my uh, download server basically. It's called rootjunkiesdl.com. And if you need drivers, I'll give you a link to all these drivers. This will be most of the manufacturers that are out there, cover a lot of devices. So it'll be easy to get your drivers if you need it. You just click on the drivers you need so on and so forth and you can download them very simply very easily all right so besides that we want to download the tool probably the best link would be this one because this is where the developer updates it constantly and uh, which is really cool great guy gates um, gates jr awesome dude definitely stays on top of this thing and gets out any bugs that it has so you probably want to download the latest one right now we're on 3.7 and install it all right once you have that done it'll look like this on your desktop just run the debloater tool and it's got this nifty difty uh, startup screen it starts ADB for you and it gives you this warning um, basically just a warning about if you remove applications on your device that um, you know could cause a boot loop and cause the thing not to function because this tool is very powerful and just be aware of that normally a factory reset will fix that but Worst case scenario, you'd have to do like a full firmware restore. So you got to know what you're doing with this tool. All right, so you just click OK to acknowledge the warning. Now let me open this up really quick here. All right, here we go. All right, perfect. All right, so all you got to do right here, it's really nice. He gives you this little thing. Hover over any of the buttons, and it's going to pop up with this little bubble, and it's going to just discuss and talk about what the tool is going to do so you're aware of what you're doing as it goes which is awesome. So first thing you do is click this button and what this is going to do is this is going to, if everything is functioning, going to totally scan your device and look at all the applications that are installed on it. System applications and user applications. Both applications are going to get scanned. All right. There are some things I want to point out on here. As you can see, one is device connected, which is good. This, this is an indication that your drivers are functioning correctly. Here it tells you your serial number, another good indicator information that's good your model number your battery percentage also awesome it'll also tell you if you have root access on your device or not and this tool can do different things if you have root or you don't have root all right so besides that there's been a lot of work coming in and you can go ahead and you can click here and you can sort applications descending and ascending which is cool same with um, or the apk file same with the packages so it's got some great search functionality. You can even come in here and again, you hover and you have what it does. You can click this filter. And if you're looking for a certain application like uh, maybe Amazon, you can see that it's going to do a as you type filter and find the application you're trying to just track down, which is just really awesome. All right. Now, let me talk about this. You can see this device has no root access. The one I'm plugged into right here is my Motorola Droid Turbo. And now, if your device is on KitKat, which is what my Droid Turbo is on right now, um, this 
tool will block applications for you and remove them in a form. They're not really gone, but you won't see them and they won't use up memory or RAM. That's the beauty of it. So here's what I've got right now on my device. You can see what's there. I've already blocked 33 applications. You can see it right up here out of my 234. So I'm gonna go ahead and unblock some of these just so you can see them. So I'm just gonna click the ones that already have check boxes in them. Uh, I don't know how many I'm gonna do. I'll do those Amazon ones just because I like doing those ones. They're the easiest. So there's four of them, right? A bunch of Amazon applications, bloatware that comes on my device. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're actually unblocking them with this process and hit apply. And you're gonna see them all come right back into my phone. There they are, very cool, and it's done. So now we can hit the read device packages again, and you'll see those couple of device packages for Amazon do not have check marks in them because they're on the phone. If I wanna remove them, it's just as simple. One, two, three, four, hit apply, and again, you'll see them all disappear. Now, you only get this warning right here if you have Internet Explorer or ES File Browser installed. You can just hit cancel. It's just if you have that application installed, it throws that error. So not a big deal. Um, and there you go. Very simple. On KitKat, blocks and unblocks the applications and moves them out of your app drawer. They're still technically on the phone using blocking mode, which is really cool, but um, they're out of the way and not using RAM. And actually, if you take an OTA update, it still works. So that's a beautiful thing. All right, so that's right there talking about a KitKat device using blocking mode. Now we're gonna talk about another device here that has root access and using some other modes that are available in this tool. So let's unplug this one right there. And we're gonna plug in my old Moto X. I know it sounds funny to say it's old, it's really not that old, but plug in this device right here. Oh man, this thing spins like a crazy top. Got that right there. I get a new pop-up here when I plug it in because the tool is constantly searching for root access. And uh, man, this cable is crazy. All right, there we go. This thing, because it's like not flat, it likes to spin. Um, it's searching for root access. Every time you unplug and replug, it, it keeps checking things. So um, it gives you a new warning here. Um, and because this device actually is still on KitKat, it can, it can do the blocking mode, it can go into a disable mode, and it can even do a deleting mode, which is really just super awesome. So I'm gonna show you a couple of those. So first of all, we're gonna hit okay to you know, get rid of the pop-up. Definitely read it, it's good information. We'll come back over here and we'll read our packages. And this is gonna be all the new APKs that are on here. Again, you can see I've got 91, or I mean 190, and I've got two blocked. There you go. You can see your connected status and stuff. You can see I have root mode. And you can see there's another button right here, remove APKs. So there's some different things we can do. And that's what I'm gonna show you here with this tool. Um, you see I have a new serial number and battery level and all that. All right, so we're gonna go into the remove feature. And this is actually going to fully delete the APK off the device or the application. So. Um, I'm gonna pick one to delete. And I think what we're gonna delete today, see if there's anything good in here. Something fun. Uh, let's see. Um, ah, it's a hard decision today. Uh, maybe define, if I can find it. So we're gonna, we're gonna go to filter. We're gonna go to define. Um, it's not coming up with that search because a lot of times APKs and files aren't named what they actually are. So it can be kind of confusing to find them. Let's try a different one. Let's try that Angry Birds. All right, so here's Angry Birds. And now I can hit apply right here and this is gonna just block it or disable it. But if I wanna remove it, I can click on this button and here it gives a warning. Proceed with caution. You do this and this is not recoverable with a factory reset, so. But what's cool is it does create a backup, which is pretty neat. So let's go ahead and say yes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click apply. And it backs up the Angry Birds APK to your computer, is how it's backing it up. And then what it's gonna do is after it does the full backup, it's gonna go ahead and delete the application 
and you'll actually still see it. There you can see I have some stuff right there about it. And it's gonna delete the application. It's even gonna delete all the app data for the application. All right, should be good. Now let's see if it, I don't think it's gonna make it disappear. It, that, that icon will disappear once you reboot your device. All right, but like you can't load it right this minute. It'll, it'll, it'll fail, yeah, see? Because it's not technically there. All right, let me show you, just so you know and understand this, where the application has gone on your computer. All right, so I'm gonna close this down for a second. You're just gonna go into your C drive and you're gonna go into, uh, I think it's programs, program files, debloater, debloater again, backups, and what it does is it creates a folder that has to do with the serial number. Your serial number is right here in the tool, so you see your serial number? So that's the backup folder that it created for me. So we're gonna come in here and then it backed up data apps. I backed up other things already. Right there, there's that Angry Birds APK it backed up. So if you ever wanna restore that APK, you can copy from here back to your device and install it. Shabam, you're rocking, okay? It even tells you where it should go on your device. Basically, if you click in, it should be in data, apps, and then the app. Pretty sweet, right? If you back up some other ones, they might go in mounts, they might go in system, uh, it just depends. Here's some other, other ones. Here's one with system, apps or app private. It just depends on what you're backing up and what, what kind of device you're using as to where it goes, but it creates that correct file, file structure, which is really cool. Uh, you can also launch the application from here, obviously. You can see it's launching right now, um, which is nice as well. And just use it on any device you want. Like I said, um, if it's a KitKat device, no root access needed, just set it up and go. If you have a Lollipop, if you have a Jelly Bean or any other Android version, you will need root access to use it. You don't have to delete the applications. You can just disable them, which again, just removes them out of your app drawer and doesn't use RAM, but they're still technically there, which is kind of cool because OTA updates will still work. But KitKat, no root access required. Block those apps out. Really cool, awesome tool. There you go, guys. That's gonna wrap it up for me here on this debloater tool by Gates Jr. Hope you guys liked the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Root Junkie, out.